Hey guys, it's here. I still and you review the Pogo Liquid Star Wars Darth Vader. So this is set PG 633 and the figure came in this uh, packet. Uh, so let's get straight into the figure. So as you can see, this is the most recent uh, version of uh, Darth Vader and yeah, uh, he is armed with his red lightsaber and uh, unfortunately the cape for the figure uh, broke off which does kind of suck uh, this is how the cape looks like uh, the quality for this one is very bad I only put it like this and uh, the cape just broke off uh, it does suck a lot uh, and I don't have any extra black capes so yeah I'm not sure how I'm not sure uh, how I'm going to uh, replace this cape but um yeah let's get back to the figure so this is the figure itself without the cape and let's start with the helmet so the helmet here you can see you got a very big gap uh this is the new version of the helmet with the top part and the bottom part uh, separate and yeah the modes they are accurate but it's just that uh the head just doesn't fit into the bottom part uh so yeah it makes a very big gap there and that sucks a lot and you can't even remove the head because uh, the head is very tight in there uh, and I'll try to remove it later but yeah this is the bottom part of the helmet and yeah so the torso print for a figure you got these silver stripes on the top you got some uh, gray lining uh, for his kind of cape and you got the life support system with all the buttons and stuff you got the belt with more of the life support system uh, with more of the buttons uh, in white and green and the leg printing uh, is just very simple and no printing at the back because the cape covers the back so that's just that so this is how the head print looks like uh, you know it's pretty accurate to the official lego one you got the white head uh, with the sound the eye printing and stuff with the of the battle damage and you got the back you got some scars I guess I'm, I'm not really sure what those are but um, yeah uh, you just get some back hip printing but aside from that that's pretty much it so over conclusion of this figure here so how did I think of him um, I think uh, the printing for the figure is um, pretty good. I like the torso, leg, and the head print. Uh, they all look very nice. And I also like the mold uh, for the top and bottom part of the helmet. You know, it's uh, very accurate and looks very nice. Uh, but the quality control for this uh, figure is just bad. Uh, but Pogo is known uh, for their bad quality control. So that's just that. But yeah, uh, the cape. Uh, the quality of the cape is just very bad, you know, I tear it off pretty easily, uh, I, I accidentally tear it off, uh, so, yeah, but uh, the helmet, you have a gap right here, you know, you can see the gap between the bottom and the top part of the helmet, and uh, the, the head is stuck on the top part of the helmet because it's just way too tight. Overall, I just don't recommend you getting this figure because the quality control is just way too bad. Um, I'm not sure if this only happened to me or this happened to everyone who got uh, the figure. I think you should cry out like other brands like Zinn or something uh, to get the uh, Darth Vader. I'm not really sure uh, which other brand uh, makes uh, Darth Vader because it's uh, pretty rare. Uh, so yeah, but if you want to buy the figure, I'll put a buy link to it down in the description box below. A lot of my social media pages down in the description. So if you like my channel, make sure you subscribe right here and watch more videos right here. So that's your video.